All right, welcome back. Um, we're going to continue to work on um, requirements engineering. I think I kept the same title, right? Uh, and I closed it, which, is, which isn't smart. Um, yeah, so I wanted to work yesterday on it, but I kind of forgot about it. All right, I fixed that. So let's go to Google Drive. Whoop. And let's work on it. That is the wrong account. And now I doxed myself. Now you can spam me with <laughs> on my email address. Um, yeah, so we, last time we like, um, oh, there it was. Mm. We already wrote a couple of things down. Um, where I thought, okay, that really isn't good user experience, right? Um, so I will just now try to polish it a bit and then I think it's done. And um, one area I think we, we can improve is fleshing out the solutions to the problems, right? Because like you can basically explain problems in two ways you can explain okay that's a problem or you can explain it in another way which is like solution based right you say okay you could do that instead which i think is like a more positive way and again like this isn't even like yeah it's not that great of a uh, description right I don't know how much I should write and stuff like that usually I don't have to write much um, but I don't know I, I have to work on it anyway so that's these are the slides again awesome all right very very cool so maybe sh she wants that too but i don't know like it, it's hard for me to know what she exactly wants um right so the task is again find uh, a product where you can improve usability and explain the usability utility user experience likability um, yeah, and that's it. Which, I don't know, isn't that... Um, not that in detail. All right, so let's go over the whole text again. And uh, yeah, examining the path setting, use case, and Libre Photos. I will take a look at Libre Photos. Libre Photos is a photo management system which you can host yourself. It works on the local file system and I will examine the use case of adding a folder or path to scan. Um, in order to change a path from the user, um, I'll just change a scan path for a user. You have to navigate to the top bar and click on drop down and go to admin area. This is the first usability issue. It's not clear that this is under admin area. A user would likely go to settings instead, but you can change it in the settings. If you never get to settings, the page looks like this. Uh, as you can see, um, all right, I can remove that. The scan directory is great out implying that you can change the uh, folder. Um, there is also a change button. Uh, that implies that you can somehow change the folder. This will lead to questions or assumptions about changing the scan directory.
All right, I should use like. Uh, all right. Uh, scan directory use case. Okay. I think I used scan directory, yeah, right. So scan directory is the right word. That's also an issue, I think, that I use it in an inconsistent way and then people make assumptions that you can do something with it that you actually can't. There's a limitation that only admins can change the scan directory. As we're currently this admin, we should be able. All right. You're not going to set to instance the admin area. It looks like this. Uh, um, we see this page. Boop, boop, boop. I have to click at the edit icon. All right. However, there's no indication that this is clickable as the mouse cursor does not change on hover. So I think we did not yet create a screenshot for that, which, you know, is nice to have. Um, all right, so let's go to admin area. Let's see, so I can do that and then I do a screenshot. All right, let's open that up. Whoop. Um, all right, so let's edit the screenshot. That's what I can see, <laughs> like last time. All right, let's edit this. Whoop. Oh, I don't see my mouse, which isn't great because I kind of want to see my mouse, right? It's. Um, I don't know. I think it's not that important. Um, I think you can imagine what happens, right? So, whoop, let's zoom a bit. Awesome. Let's go there and then we do this. All right. Save copy. Yeah, and the images. Yes. All right. Screenshot. Here we go. So let's put that here and then I explain basically what you can see uh, there, right? Clicking there, it will then open up a model, allowing us to select a folder for the user. We can open up the folder to select a subfolder. When selecting something new, the path at the top will change. However, there is However, there's no indication of my selection actually set a new path. If I select something new, then I should be able to update. But if not, then it, that should not be possible. All right. Another issue is that there is no closing model button or option. No. Uh, to cancel this operation, right. On the plus side, this model behaves like other models and will close itself if you click outside the model. All right. I think I can put this um, in here. This model behaves the application in the application. Uh, 
All right. Predictability is also not given as the scan directory has possible implications, right? When uploading a new photo, Libre Photos will then create a new subfolder called uploads, right? So I can put a screenshot of that in here, right? So let's put that here. Um, all right, the uploads folder currently does not exist. So I will update that. And then I will upload an image. Ooh, no, I think I can do it like that. Yes. Right, and then I can go back here. No, we have to reload because of, of course we fetched this lazily and then we have an uploads button. Yeah, that doesn't make too much sense. Let's go here instead, right? Yeah, no, that's ugly. What? I can't go back, man. The snipping tool actually isn't that great. Okay. Whoop. <coughs> okay. So let's copy that in. Whoop. So a lot of the negative feedback is obviously just straight up, basically, things you can do, right? Fixing the bug, obviously, uh, maybe adding a closing button for models. Um, there is... Um, right. One option would be, right, this is basically a solution, right? Um, possible solutions. Another issue is that Libre assumes that Order only belongs to one user, but possible. Yeah, this would be doing good. All right. Um, you. Um. It also has missing utility, as the user can usually. Usually create a new folder in a file manager. How would we like define that if something you click on something and then nothing happens, right? That's also a bit off right now. Mm -hmm. When updating the path, the system 
does not perform a new scan. Also, changing the path does not update the visibility or ownership of the image. Mm -hmm. All right, I will just put this up there, right, for the usual use case. Um, the user gets notified. Right, so. Boop. Okay, so. However, there's no indication. Okay. But there are a couple of issues regarding utility or just use all of the <laughs> things, right? Um, don't know, don't know, don't know. Usability, right? Uh, usability, utility, user experience, and ba ba ba. Where is it? All right, I'm back again. Everything still surviving. Damn. Uh, sometimes my streaming is very bad and usually it just works. It's, it drives me crazy. All right, um, experience. Yeah, I definitely wrote that wrong. Utility, yeah. And likability, all right. Um, there's no indication if my selection is a new path, right? All right, all right, all right. Usability, utility, user experience. So I. I had like a lot of things, right? So, um, learnability, right? Um, so I think I can put this like at the bottom, right? Um, Right, I will just take that and put this up here. Um, it used a consistent. You would expect uh, this helps learnability. Again, no idea what she actually wants, so I will just write a lot. All right. Um, your folders will create an upload folder, which is not communicated. How easy is it for the user to accomplish basic tasks the first time they encounter the design? So usually they are fine, right? So that's not really the issue. So that's something different. Efficiency, once users have learned the design, how quickly can they perform the task? Um, all right, so I can put this up here.
this hinders um, efficiency, right? Buh, buh, buh. Too much stuff, man. Once you have learned the, ta the design, how quickly can they know? It's like learnability, right? It's hard for them to find it, so it's learnability. Um, that's like really the same as learnability. Will likely not know that. All right. Um, predictability, right? So, predictability is also not a given as there has. Okay, so I wrote that down. Uh, blah, blah, blah. All right. Um, all right. Conclusion. Libre photos um, covers a lot of the points for good user experience. But when it comes to details and specific use cases, it can be a lot of the lacking utility and <coughs> it lacks it in the details leading to a confusing handling of the program. I don't know. <sighs> so memorability when users return to the reason design. Okay. Learnability and memorability is I think both a valid valid point. Right? Because even I forget like all the time that it's there. As this is it's not learnability, I think I cannot know that and memorability as this is just different if this is just uh at an unusual place, right? All right, this is learnability and memorability. Predictability, right, partially. So predictability had, had like also a thing, but I will just put these things here. So I had, uh, you can remove that, right? I already did that efficiency. Not as great as you have navigated to admin page, right? So, mm, right. I will just put this here under automated scanning, right? Uh, which degrades efficiency mm, 
navigate two options to run a new scan. Yeah, which creates efficiency, the user has an okay. So I will just put this here. Whoop. Uh. All right, cool. So Um, so there are also no shortcuts. Boop, 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 boom. the page All right uh, two points that degrade. Alright, cool. So, yeah, not covering advanced use case like multiple paths or setting a separate upload path is utility, not efficiency. So, I can remove that. Memorability when users return to the end, that, yeah, so I already added that. Uh, errors how many errors do users make? How severe are these errors and how easily can they recover from errors? So I don't know how often they make errors, to be honest. That you can set stuff. Um, changing the path, which makes it very hard to recover a wrongly and folder, but doesn't happen too often usually. Um, So okay, so I have now the recover stuff and that there. So uh, how pleasant is it to use the design? Hard question to be honest. Satisfaction, right? Um, Right. Um, this helps learnability, but it looks a bit generic and does not to a satisfying design, right? All right. 
right so i think i will go over this here again because i now have like one of these things done um covers uh, the criteria of what's uh, what's it called boop, boop, boop. maybe i shouldn't ha have deleted that but whatever uh, whoop Nope, learnability, efficiency, so learnability, so uh, what's his name by Jacob Nielsen, right? Okay. Uh, satisfaction, efficiency, memorability, errors. Um, dot is and partially learnability, but it's missing uh, efficiency, memorability, and errors. Efficiency, memorability, and errors. the when we look at the materials of gigs at I'll um, partially as you get confirmation if you change something. All right, I think I need uh, the things for that. Boop. Okay. It's covering basic utility but it's missing advanced use cases. All right. Likeability. Um, Man, I'm really not good at writing stuff. <laughs> um, all right, learnability, predictability, right? Um, it covers... Uh, so I would say yes, right, predictability, partially. Uh, predictability, right? Determining effect of future acts based on past interaction history. Yeah. Yes. So, visually, it's like all very consistent, but like sometimes something happens that's surprising. So, I will only give it a partially. So, thin synthesis. Synthesizability, right? Ability of the user to assess the effect of the past operation space on the current state. Immediate versus eventual feedback should see the change of an operation. 
Yeah, partially. Right, so you click on a folder and then it's given. Alright, I now have to use to add these words to the thing, right? Ba -ba 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 -ba. which helps then synthesize ability, right? So, predictability. Right, so um, yeah. I think I already put predictability somewhere in here. So it's also not given, right? No, I want. Uh, this hinders. Right. Partially as you get, ba ba ba. That's also partially because it looks like basically every other file manager, but just has missing functionality. Um, generalizability, yes. And consistency also, yes. Right. So it covers. Okay, but it's missing. I mean, so consistency, generalizability is given and covers partially. Oh, my God, like. I don't know how, I, how I'm going to write my final thing because like I suck at writing, it takes forever. Okay, let's do flexibility next. Uh, 
Uh, dialogue in initiative, yes. Multi-threading, yes. Doesn't really apply here, so yes. Changing substitutivity, no. And uh, no. Substitutivity, I have to put this somewhere where the path is right. Um, criteria this hinders right okay um um it partially covers flexibility by utilizing dialogue initiative multi-threading and task migratability no, it actually doesn't right because task, task migratability is that the program says to you hey don't use this pass right um, uh, right so but not Substitutivity and customizability. Oh, my God. Um. I don't need that any longer. Boop, boop, boop. I swear to God, I write way too much. <laughs> but it helps me, right? Um, yeah, I think I need a third session for that because I only have like 15 minutes left and then I gotta go. Um, all right. Task migratability, so. Passing responsible for task assistance. Oh uh, yeah, so that's basically exactly that. So it should say, hey, no, dude, don't do that. Task migratability. Activity, customizability. Uh, you can change the upload folder and can it multiple paths. So yeah, I already have that. Very cool. Um, Observability, right? So that's the next thing. Uh, 
Twitch helps when I, I, I write like a first grader. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, observability, recoverability. Uh, yeah, I already wrote about that. So that's a no. No. Task conformance. No, it behaves differently and you can't do a comma thing like. So. A responsiveness. The interaction is responsive, but the error handling is not perfect. All right, partially. Yeah, all right, cool. Uh, partially right, so... Mm. Uh, it does not cover robustness as it only implements uh, observability and responsiveness but not recoverability or task conformance. Oh, I also have to look up task performance, but right utility, I wrote something about that. Okay, efficiency, 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 whoop. Subs <laughs> uh, but not task migratability, whoop, 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 whoop. Robustness, task conformance. Uh, which system services support all of the user's task, task completeness, task adequacy, the level of support provided to the user in determining successful achievement assessment of goal-directed behavior. I don't know, you, you get a confirmation right that it works, so basically that thing, but sometimes it does something different than you think, and uh, so... Okay, there are two points that degrade efficiency. Um, right, I can do a small header, right, like that, conclusion. Task conformance, right? All right, so user experiences, users' perceptions and responses that result from the use and or anticipated use system, product or service. So, hello, when will the mobile version be updated? Um, don't know. We're currently working on refactoring uh, the API. And when that's done, then we can put basically the API we currently have for the one front end and put this in, in the mobile thing. And then we only have to implement the visual stuff of it, right? But 
all of the things that you do in the backend is then also already implemented. But it just takes way longer than anticipated. And I'm just one person and I'm currently working on uh, writing good use cases. And um, I'm also working on like that you only need one single Docker container and this is taking forever, like it's a lot of work. Um, so yeah. So my answer is basically sometimes uh, in the future it will be updated, but I'm not sure when. But you can also always help out, right? So if you never d have done this, then just learn it and uh, then you will get your use cases. That's the fastest way to do it. Um, and I will help you out if you need some help for that. All right. So user experience, yeah, the usability, I think I will conclude user experience, right? Because it's all of that combined. Um, so the likability is not given as the use case is rather generic and not very Satisfying. Fine. All right, cool. It also not liked by advanced users because of lacking utility. All right. Uh, and then I only have user experience, right? All right. Um, overall, you can say that the user experience only covers the basic use case uh, but and misses a lot of small usability issues all right so Let's see. No, no, no. Can I add this? Yes. Very cool. Uh, I think I wrote now everything down I wanted to wrote down for that. I didn't really work on better solutions for it for now. I think I like the solutions also that I wrote there. Uh, yeah, but still. Mm. You just want to want to share the same path, right? So that's also a thing. Uh, where is it? Where's utility? God damn it. All right, that is synthesizability or something like that, right? No. Learnability. Predictability. Yeah.
Yeah, but but I understood, understood the question, so uh, no problem. Um, does your use case work? Like you, I think you asked about um, deleting photos, right? Uh, did it work? Um, oh, like he can't even. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. I think I have everything that I need. So I think I now have to think about to do's for the next session. Um, example. Let's make that red. Maybe I need like a, like an animated GIF or something, which I would do with like a GIF maker. I think I can do that. Um, <laughs> I have that. Okay, so I think the next time I will only put nice like images or GIFs into it. All right, uh, sleep well, see you next time. Um, all right. Yeah, I think I'm going over this again. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think I will stream on Friday again. Um, yeah. If you like my videos, you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm also on GitHub Sponsors. And um, yeah, like you said, it's a great app. And uh, sponsoring me on GitHub Sponsors helps out, helps me out. Um, yeah, if you found a bug or have any like comments, um, leave a comment and I see you next time. Bye for now.